Coast Areas is really an extraordinary piece of property. People in Santa Cruz have fought a lot, long time to preserve it. It's one of the most beautiful properties, I think, in the world, and we're lucky that it's uh, come into such good uh, protection under the, under the BLM. Um, today's event is a, is a great demonstration of corporations, of uh, citizens, and of uh, the government partnering together to build a public resource. The Bureau of Land Management has incredible, beautiful lands to manage for conservation. And the Conservation Lands Foundation wants to support and help BLM do that. And so we were able to approach PG&E with a really great partnership idea. And that was, let's put um, military veterans who are part of the Conservation Corps on the ground, put some volunteers in there, get a lot of trail work done, and, and do some really great work on lands that are public and will one day be open to everyone. Um, in this particular event, PG&E uh, provided a grant to CLF uh, that they then worked with the local partnering organizations and with BLM to bring in um, California Conservation Corps and, um, and also a bunch of volunteers to do this restoration effort with, um, with those, those veterans that uh, we, we so appreciate their service. I'm with the California Conservation Corps and Inland Empire and the Crew 5 veteran crew. Uh, out here we're uh, constructing a trail for, for you guys, for BLM. We're just um, pretty much following the flag and you guys put up and knocking down the brush and trees. And um, today I took a drive up to help build the trails with my mom and some of her friends. We've been working on fixing up the trails. So this is one way that we also take care of home uh, beyond just our physical space, but really understanding how to support the same things that support us.